Occupational Safety and Health Administration enforces numerous standards that limit the amount of hazardous chemicals or substances that workers can be exposed to. However, when it comes to mold exposure in the workplace, there are currently no federal standards or recommendations for airborne concentrations of mold or mold spores. With regards to overall worker protection, the General Duty Clause of the Occupational Safety and Health Act of 1970 does state that employers have the responsibility to provide a safe and healthful workplace that is free from serious recognized hazards. To address workplace exposure to mold, a number of government agencies have released bulletins and fact sheets about this topic. For example, in 2012, the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health released Preventing Occupational Respiratory Disease from Exposures Caused by Dampness in Office Buildings, Schools, and Other Non-Industrial Buildings. In it, NIOSH reports, Research studies have shown that exposures to building dampness and mold have been associated with respiratory symptoms, asthma, hypersensitivity pneumonitis, rhinosinusitis, bronchitis, and respiratory infections. Individuals with asthma or hypersensitivity pneumonitis may be at risk for progression to more severe disease if the relationship between illness and exposure to the damp building is not recognized and exposures continue. In addition to the health concerns listed in the NIOSH document, some types of fungi associated with indoor mold growth can also cause opportunistic fungal infections in people with a weakened or suppressed immune system. A number of different types of fungi are also known to produce toxins, known as mycotoxins, under certain environmental conditions. Back in 2005, the California Department of Health Services released molds in indoor workplaces. The fact sheet states, there are no standards to say how much mold is hazardous to your health. There should not be visible mold growth or strong moldy odors in the workplace. It also shares the following. If you see or smell mold, or if you or others are experiencing mold-related symptoms, report it so the problem can be investigated. In 2009, the World Health Organization published Guidelines for Indoor Air Quality, Dampness, and Mold. Based on the organization's review of scientific literature, the agency found that there was sufficient epidemiological evidence to conclude that occupants of damp buildings are at risk of developing upper and lower respiratory tract symptoms, respiratory infections, asthma, and exacerbation of asthma. These are just a few of the available documents about mold exposure and or the work environment. To learn more about this or other occupational, indoor air quality, environmental health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.